Hey yo, welcome back to Cartoon Mania. Today we've got a complete rundown of the show Static Shock, from its humble beginnings to the grand finale. The show is set in the fictional city of Dakota and follows the adventures of Virgil Hawkins, a high school student who gains electromagnetic superpowers after an accident involving a mysterious gas. He takes on the superhero alter ego Static and uses his newfound abilities to protect his city from various superpowered villains and meta-human threats. Virgil Hawkins, an ordinary teenager from a black neighborhood, faces bullying and the temptation to join a gang led by Wade. When cornered by bullies and saved by Wade once, he reluctantly agrees to meet Wade and his gang under a bridge. Despite his initial hesitation, Virgil decides to join the gang for protection. However, he soon realizes the dangerous consequences of his decision when he is asked to participate in a gang fight with rival gang members. As the showdown unfolds, the police intervene and the gas explosion causes a mysterious gas cloud to envelop those present. Virgil narrowly escapes, but he awakens with newfound electrical powers, including the ability to generate and control electricity. With the help of his friend Richie, Virgil adopts the superhero persona Static and decides to use his powers for good. He foils an electronics robbery and helps set up the school's homecoming event, impressing his peers. Meanwhile, gang members exposed to the mysterious gas undergo horrifying mutations, setting the stage for future confrontations with Virgil as he embraces his new identity as Static Shock. Virgil and Richie watch a news report about the emergence of Bang Babies, resulting from the Big Bang explosion at the docks, who are gaining superpowers. When a Bang Baby transforms into a werewolf in an electronics store, Virgil, Richie, and a fellow student, Frida, witness the chaos. Virgil's father addresses the city council about the Bang Baby problem, while Virgil keeps investigating Edwin Alva's involvement in the gas incident. Virgil confronts Alva, who orders his guards to deal with the young hero. In the midst of chaos caused by Hot Streak, Virgil battles the fiery villain and emerges victorious, but loses important evidence against him. A popular track athlete, Derek Barnett, requests academic tutoring from Virgil, but during their first session at Derek's home, he mysteriously develops superhuman powers and gets abducted by a shadowy figure, Ebon. Derek joins the Meta Breed, a group of Bang Babies led by Ebon, who offers Static a place among them. While robbing a sports store, Static and the Meta Breed clash, with Static trying to convince Derek to abandon his new criminal life. Derek eventually aids Static in defeating the Meta Breed, leading to his reconciliation with his mother and willingness to participate in Bang Baby research. Virgil is accepted into the Van Moore Institute, an elite school for gifted students, where he encounters two older students, Spex and Trapper, who manipulate him into their agenda. Virgil and his classmates are given an assignment to develop an electronic eye to track energy signatures, which Virgil secretly programs. Unknown to Virgil, Spex and Trapper are working for Edwin Alva, trying to capture Static for his research. A robot controlled by them chases Static, but he's saved by Daisy, who deactivates the robot. Static discontinues his participation at Vanmore and returns to Dakota High, where Daisy transfers much to his delight. At the Freeman Community Center, strange occurrences disrupt the peaceful atmosphere as the water in the fountain turns into cherry soda. Virgil and his father investigate, but their curiosity deepens when more bizarre incidents, such as an apartment complex buried under vanilla ice cream snow, surface in the city. Suspicion falls on Aaron, a former reformed school student who's now living in the area. Meanwhile, a video game enthusiast named Dwayne becomes the focal point for these peculiar incidents as he summons objects and creatures from his imagination, causing chaos in the city. Virgil and Richie confront Aaron, suspecting his involvement, but the true nature of these events unfolds when Dwayne's powers go awry. He teams up with Aaron to commit crimes, but Virgil, as static, intervenes, leading to a showdown that ends in a police arrest. A new bang baby named Slipstream emerges, causing chaos in Dakota. Static faces off against Slipstream, but struggles due to distractions from his friend Richie. The two friends argue and temporarily end their friendship. However, when Slipstream returns, Richie helps Static defeat the villain using special devices he created, mending their friendship. Daisy, their classmate, encourages their reconciliation, and they continue their superhero adventures together. Virgil is late to a fancy party at the Freeman Community Center, hosted by Edwin Alva due to his duties as Static. During the party, tensions rise between Edwin Alva and his son, Edwin Jr., leading the latter to run away. Edwin Jr. discovers a hazardous gas in Alva's lab, and after modifying it, becomes a super-powered villain called Omnifarious. 
he uses his newfound powers to wreak havoc on Alva Industries. As Omnifarious and Static clash, Omnifarious discovers Static's true identity and threatens to expose him. Virgil, torn between protecting his secret and doing the right thing, decides to reveal Omnifarious' identity to his father and Edwin Alva. In the end, Omnifarious' powers spiral out of control, leading to a climactic battle that ends in his petrification. Virgil, mourning his mother's death, which happened before the show, grapples with his reluctance to participate in a memorial service for her. He tries to find solace by being static, but faces an insurmountable opponent, a bang baby with superhuman strength and an obsession with proving people wrong. Virgil's friend Richie helps him uncover the bang baby's identity as their classmate Thomas, a victim of intense academic pressure from his father. They confront Thomas, who transforms into a hulking creature during a fit of rage. Virgil leads him away from populated areas and helps him revert to his normal self, resulting in his family getting a better understanding of his condition. After this experience, Virgil musters the strength to give a heartfelt speech at his mother's memorial, expressing her enduring presence in their lives. Static encounters the Joker and a gang of meta-human criminals who've come to Dakota. After Joker's gang recruits Ferret and wreaks havoc, Static joins Batman and Robin in their pursuit of villains. However, the gang lures the heroes into a trap and kidnaps them, planning to execute them with a modified fire truck. Static escapes a trap, uses the Batwing to locate the hideout, and saves Batman and Robin just in time. They all work together to defeat Joker's gang, and Static turns the tables on Joker, defeating him with a powerful shock from a joy buzzer. The criminals are arrested, and Static hopes to meet Batman and Robin again. Sharon becomes suspicious that Virgil is secretly Static, and her doubts intensify when she overhears Static making a remark about arcades that she believes Virgil previously mentioned. While Sharon investigates further, two new metahumans, Boom and Mirage, commit a series of crimes to help their grandmother. Mirage starts to have second thoughts about their actions, but Boom assures her that it's all for their family. Sharon continues to gather evidence about Virgil's secret identity, but she needs more confirmation. When Boom and Mirage cause chaos at a radio station and the sports arena, Static intervenes. Mirage is later hospitalized after a confrontation with Boom, who becomes a criminal seeking revenge against Static. Sharon tries to prove her theory by taking Virgil to a public event, but Mirage helps Virgil maintain his cover by creating a convincing illusion of Static. Virgil stops a new gang of metahuman thugs called the Rough Pack, who are determined to eliminate Static, tired of being thwarted by the hero. After dealing with the Rough Pack, Virgil receives an urgent call from his dad to meet an old friend at the Freeman Community Center. To Virgil's surprise, the friend turns out to be NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal, who is running a mini basketball camp. Later, the Rough Pack targets a party hosted by Shaq, forcing Virgil to reveal his secret identity to the basketball star as they work together to thwart the criminals. In the end, they manage to defeat the Rough Pack, and Shaq promises to keep Virgil's superhero identity a secret. In the midst of the winter holidays in Dakota, Virgil struggles with the relentless demands of his superhero life, causing him to be late for his friend Frida's Hanukkah party. However, a citywide power outage leads him to encounter a troubled girl named Maureen Connor with ice-based powers who is living on the streets. As Static tries to help her and understand her traumatic past, he learns about the challenges faced by homeless individuals in the community. Through compassion and connection, Static assists Maureen and brings her to a local church where he and the community offer her support shedding light on the true meaning of the holidays and the importance of helping those in need. In a daring subway heist, two troublemaking boys, Royce and Frankie, steal a briefcase containing high-density liquid quantum vapor from an Alva Industries courier. Panicked when questioned by the police afterward, Virgil, who unknowingly has Static's costume in his backpack, uses his powers to escape. That evening, Virgil's father introduces his new girlfriend, Trina, who turns out to be the same cop who questioned Virgil earlier. Virgil's dad grounds him for his earlier actions. At school, Royce stashes the stolen vapor case in his locker and accidentally spills some of the substance on an insect and a spider. The spilled gas causes them to mutate into dangerous creatures. When Virgil learns about this, he suits up a static and deals with the mutated bug problem. Later, when Royce himself becomes a super strong and grotesque being due to the gas exposure, Static, with Trina's help, manages to defeat him and stop the threat. In the end, Virgil remains grounded, but his dad and Trina can rekindle their relationship. Richie considers running for class president due to recurring issues with school vending machines, leading to a student election against Joey Bombora and Madeline Spaulding. 
Madeline discovers her telepathic and mind-controlling powers due to quantum vapor exposure, using them to manipulate students and take over the school. She targets Virgil's mind, causing chaos in his family and community. Virgil, ecstatic, confronts Madeline and eventually defeats her by reversing her powers, restoring the affected student's free will, and wiping her memory of her abilities. In the end, Joey wins the election, pledging to fix the vending machines. Virgil recounts the events surrounding a troubled boy named Jimmy Osgood, who becomes a victim of bullying by Nick and his friends at school. Virgil and Richie befriend Jimmy and try to include him in their activities. As Halloween approaches, they all work together on preparations for a community center party. However, the bullying intensifies, pushing Jimmy to a breaking point. In a desperate moment, Jimmy takes his father's gun to the community center and points it at Nick, but doesn't pull the trigger. The situation escalates when Richie is accidentally shot in the leg as others tackle Jimmy. Virgil, as static, intervenes to disarm Jimmy and call for help. The episode highlights the serious issue of gun violence and its impact on young people, emphasizing the need for support and intervention in cases of bullying and access to firearms. Once again, Static teams up with Batman in Gotham City to help a troubled girl named Allie, who has gained superhuman abilities after exposure to quantum vapor. Allie, now known as Nails, grapples with her newfound powers, a difficult past involving bullying and the loss of her abilities. While Static and Batman try to rescue her from the influence of Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn, who promise a cure for her condition in exchange for criminal assistance, they ultimately succeed in stopping the villains and provide Allie with an opportunity for redemption and control over her powers, emphasizing the theme of second chances and support for those with extraordinary abilities. Richie Foley, Virgil's best friend, starts to exhibit super intelligence, a delayed result of the Big Bang exposure. He is concerned about his newfound abilities and adopts the superhero identity Gear to assist Static. The meta breed, who have escaped from custody, mistakenly capture Virgil, believing him to be Static. Gear steps up to rescue his friend, and together with Static, they thwart the meta breed's plans. This episode marks Richie's transformation into a superhero in his own right, with the Elias Gear, and solidifies his partnership with Static, and solidifies his partnership with Static to combat superhuman threats in Dakota. The Hawkins family's adventure to Ghana takes a surprising turn when a supervillain named Osibo the Leopard attacks their train. Anansi the Spider, a local superhero, intervenes. Virgil and Anansi subsequently work together to stop Osibo from causing chaos and destruction. After their successful mission, Virgil feels inspired by the representation of a black superhero in Africa and recognizes the importance of having role models who look like him. Anansi encourages him to understand that there is a superhero back home as well. Static and Gear encounter a new superhero named Shebang while saving workers and consider recruiting her to their team. Shenis Vale, a new student with superhuman bowling skills, is suspected of being pressured by her parents to fail in a match when they show up. The supervillain Hot Street goes on a rampage and is defeated by Shebang, who disappears when reporters arrive. Shanice's parents reveal they created her with superhuman abilities and are on the run from a company that wants to clone her. Agents tracking Shebang lead Static and Gear to her location and they help rescue her. Shanice goes underground with her family until the danger is over, with plans to return to Dakota and join the fight against crime. Batman and the Justice League recruit Static to help recharge the Watchtower's power core, which is threatened by a cosmic super strength. Static and Gear enjoy some downtime on the Watchtower, but Brainiac takes advantage of their absence and tries to seize control of the station. After a struggle, they manage to temporarily thwart Brainiac's plans. However, upon returning home, Richie is attacked by his personal robot, Backpack, which has been infiltrated by Brainiac, setting the stage for another confrontation with the relentless AI villain. At the Watchtower, Brainiac infiltrates the station and captures the Flash, assimilating him into its control. The Justice League, including Static, embarks on a mission to rescue Flash, embarks on a mission to rescue Flash and Richie from Brainiac's grasp. After freeing the League from Brainiac's influence, they discover that Richie was trying to convey the message Control related to his remote-controlled robot, Backpack. Brainiac plans to assimilate Earth using a new ship but is thwarted when Static disrupts the remote control, disabling Backpack and preventing Brainiac's sinister plan. After ensuring Richie and Backpack are free from Brainiac's influence, the Justice League praises Static for his heroic efforts and hints at the possibility of his future membership in the League. Static and Gear become the subjects of a TV show called Heroes, with producer Bernie Rast convincing them to participate as role models. However, they face difficulties when trying to stop the metahuman criminal Starburst, as their powers are ineffective against them. 
leading to negative publicity. Richie discovers that Starburst's powers come from an external source, and they set a trap to capture him. During filming, they reveal that Rast's assistant, Brandon, was the one behind Starburst's powers, aiming to secure funding for a script Rast had ignored, ultimately bringing the criminal to justice. During a break-in, a new metahuman called Leech drains Hot Streak of his powers and takes him captive, locking him up with Ebon. Leech possesses the ability to steal metahuman powers. Meanwhile, film producer Bernie Rast convinces Lil Romeo to star in a movie where Daisy and Frida will direct. Romeo reluctantly agrees and Static makes an appearance to support him. Leech mistakes Lil Romeo for Static during a film shoot and kidnaps him. Lil Romeo is ultimately rescued, but Static is captured in his place. With help from Daisy, Frida, and Lil Romeo, Static is freed from an old studio where they confront Leech, leading to a tense showdown that ends in a police arrest. Virgil learns about the Freeman Community Center's budget issues, motivating him to investigate Edwin Alva's suspicious activities involving two scientists, Spex and Trapper. He discovers they are working on a project to restore Alva's son, who turned to stone due to quantum vapor exposure. Virgil becomes static, unaware that Spex and Trapper are plotting against Alva. They turn into supervillains Spectral and Speed Trap and attack Static at Dakota Stadium. They defeat him, but Alva fires them for their actions, leading to their plan to kidnap his son for ransom. Static intervenes, but Specs and Trapper threaten to blow up Edwin Jr. He thwarts their plan, saves the boy, and helps Alva overcome the crisis. In return, Alva donates $10 million to the community center, solving the budget issues. During a school field trip, the bus is attacked by a giant toy monkey, and Static and Gear arrive to confront him. However, their powers are ineffective, and Superman comes to their rescue, ultimately defeating the monkey. Afterward, Clark Kent visits the school to interview the teacher, Darcy, who reveals her true identity and connection to Toy Man. A giant toy clown attacks the school, capturing Daisy. While battling the clowns, Daisy is trapped, but Superman and Static rescue her. They learn that Toyman, with Darcy's help, intends to transfer Darcy's consciousness into Daisy's body. They locate Toyman's hideout, where Darcy becomes Daisy's perfect duplicate. The heroes, captured by toy soldiers, are initially fooled by Darcy but ultimately expose her, leading to her demise due to a failsafe programmed by Toyman. Superman apprehends Toyman and Darcy meets a grim end. Daisy and Static, relieved, return home with Daisy's admiration split between Superman and Static. Shebang, returning to Dakota to seek help from Static and Gear, believes her parents have been kidnapped. Together, they investigate a new metahuman thief, only to discover that Shebang's parents are aiding the thief. It is revealed that the thief is actually Dr. Koenig, a scientist who previously collaborated with Shebang's parents. His experiments went awry, turning him into a rock like metahuman capable of absorbing energy. Koenig coerces the doctor couple to assist him in finding a cure for his condition with the threat of a remote activated poison collar around their necks. When the cure attempt fails, Koenig turns on them and targets Static, but his insatiable absorption renders him immobile. Here, using Backpack deciphers the code to release the collars from Shebang's parents, freeing them. Static invites Shebang to join their team anytime she's in Dakota. In Dakota, a statue honoring rescue workers, including Gene Hawkins, who died in the Dakota riots five years ago, is dedicated. Virgil Hawkins, Gene's son, grapples with fading memories of his mother. His life takes an unexpected turn when Nina Crocker, a girl with time-manipulating powers, unintentionally transports herself, static, and gear ten minutes into the past during a chance encounter. After narrowly avoiding a time paradox, they decide to use Time Zone, Nina's hero name, to prevent Jean's death during the riots. However, Ebon, a villain, steals Gear's time travel remote, and they travel back to the riots' time. Virgil reunites with his mother, revealing his secret identity in a poignant moment. As Static and Gear confront Ebon, Time Zone's powers cause a time bubble, leading to emotional farewells and the change in the timeline. After their return, Virgil seeks his mother at home but finds her dead once again. He reconciles with her absence and sees a changed present, reflecting on the complexities of time travel. Virgil reluctantly helps at a retirement home and discovers an elderly resident, Mr. Grant, is actually Soul Power, a superhero from the 1960s. Together, they face robots rampaging in the city, but these robots are immune to electromagnetic powers. Their nemesis, Professor Menace, reveals his plan to use static and soul power to power a dangerous weather machine. Soul Power's former sidekick, Sparky, joins them and they track down Menace's base, which is under the retirement home. They unmask Menace as Dennis, one of the elderly residents. 
After the ordeal, Virgil learns valuable lessons and a few dance moves from Mr. Grant. Virgil joins Batman and Robin to stop a time-manipulating villain called Time Code in Gotham City. After a skirmish, they accidentally activate a time machine, sending Static 40 years into the future. In the future, he encounters a grizzled Terry McGinnis, the Batman of that era, and gets involved in a mission to stop Cobra. Despite initial friction, Static and Batman work together to rescue Static's older self, who was trapped by Cobra. They succeed and Static returns to his own time with newfound respect from Batman and the message of self-belief from his future self. With the help of Gear, they fix the time machine. Despite glimpses of their future selves, they choose not to delve further into their destinies. Virgil and Richie discover that Madeline Spaulding, who has lost her memory of their past encounters and her knowledge of their superhero identities, now possesses different and more potent powers. After Madeline unwittingly frees several supervillains, Static and Gear attempt to stop them, but Shebang intervenes to help. Shebang expresses a desire to join their team, which an initially hesitant Static and Gear ultimately extend an invitation to the Shebang to join their superhero team after she helps them defeat the gang, recognizing her valuable contributions. Static is disheartened when he learns that his idol, Green Lantern, is seemingly on a destructive crime spree in Dakota. Confronting the apparent rogue hero, Static assists in apprehending Green Lantern, despite his inner conflict over this unfortunate turn of events. Later, Static uncovers Green Lantern's power ring in his possession and seeks to understand the situation. He realizes that the actual wrongdoer is Sinistro, who had disguised himself as Green Lantern while utilizing stolen power from his power battery. Sinestro had also left the real Green Lantern powerless to take the blame for his crimes. Teaming up with the genuine Green Lantern, Static offers a temporary power source to recharge the hero's ring. Together, they thwart Sinistro's plans and unveil him as the true villain, thus preserving Green Lantern's reputation. With his faith in his hero restored, Static and Green Lantern part ways as comrades with mutual respect. In Dakota City, Static confronts a group of mysterious thieves with unique abilities during a spate of late-night robberies. These thieves, known as the Nightbreed, possess powers tied to their heightened light sensitivity, acquired after the Big Bang incident. After a series of confrontations and revelations, Static teams up with the Nightbreed to thwart their plan to block out the sun, orchestrated by their leader, Ebon. Their mission culminates in a showdown against Ebon and his crew, leading to the restoration of daylight in Dakota City. In the end, the Nightbreed, determined to deal with their light sensitivity independently, opt to solve their own problem, and Static and Gear return to the surface. Virgil and Richie, en route to a charity all-star game in Los Angeles, notice odd events where rubber items dissolve into nanites. At the stadium, even a basketball disintegrates. Static and Gear discover the source of the nanites, leading to a battle with a colossal nanite-formed robot. The Hoop Squad, NBA athletes with bio-enhancer suits, assist in the fight. They explain that their mission is to stop Dr. Odium, a rogue NBA nanotech expert, from releasing destructive nanites to cause an earthquake. Together, they thwart his plan, defeating him and saving the West Coast. The heroes later enjoy a basketball game, emphasizing their dual roles as athletes and protectors. Static and Gear fail to capture a new Bang Baby and have to attend a dinner event. The Bang Baby, Chainlink, watches a news report about pro football player Dule Jones. After dinner, Dule offers to give everyone a ride, but gets attacked by Chainlink. Virgil and Richie transform into Static and Gear, but are defeated. Dule leaves them and returns home, where Chainlink threatens to expose his Bang Baby secret. They track Dule, and during a confrontation at a factory, Chainlink escapes. At a football game, Dule decides to reveal his secret to the world, but Chainlink interrupts, leading to a battle that ends with the help of football players. Dule's decision earns Sharon's pride, and the story closes with Virgil and Richie spending time with Rashid the Rocket Randall, a friend of Virgil's father. Static and Gear face a new villain who disrupts their crime-fighting gear. Meanwhile, Dr. Roberts, a scientist formerly employed by Alva Industries, captures video footage of Static without his mask, gaining knowledge of his secret identity. To save his father, who was kidnapped by Dr. Roberts, Static must assist her in stealing Project Omni from Alva Industries. Static complies, but assures his dad he'll quit being a superhero afterward to protect him. When Static retrieves Project Omni, he is caught in a fight with Gear. Dr. Roberts connects Project Omni to her, intending to unleash a global surveillance network. A global surveillance network. The heroes later counter her with a virus, and in the ensuing battle, Robert Hawkins, Virgil's father, discovers his secret identity. The heroes save the day, 
and Robert acknowledges that Virgil and Richie will have to decide on their own whether to continue as superheroes or not. Although he intends to tell Sharon the truth, he decides to postpone the revelation for now. Kangor and Ferret, two bang babies, commit a robbery and Virgil and Richie transform into static and gear to confront them. They soon notice a larger issue. Kangor loses his powers and reverts to a normal human. They inform a scientist, Dr. Todd, who reveals that the city has been secretly sprayed with a cure for the bang baby condition, causing them to lose their powers. A frustrated gear decides to visit Dr. Todd to discuss the issue. Ebon, Hotstreak, Talon, and Shiv attempt to obtain more Bang Baby gas from Dr. Todd, but fail. Meanwhile, Static and Gear fight them and try to stop them from creating a more powerful Big Bang. Talon, now turned human, provides information to Static and Gear about their plans. Ebon and Hotstreak manage to steal the gas, intending to restore their gang's powers. Later, Static and Gear confront Ebon, Hotstreak, and their gang as they plan to regain their powers and increase their numbers. A battle ensues, leading to the fusion of Ebon and Hotstreak into a monstrous two-headed creature. After a challenging fight, Static and Gear ultimately defeat the creature by exploiting their restored powers. However, they suspect the creature might have survived. They also anticipate the return of Dr. Todd's cure and Gear's development of a counter-cure. The episode concludes with the heroes flying off, determined to continue their superhero work. So, this was Static Shock from the beginning to the end in detail. Now, what a show, but what do you think? Was it among your favorites when you were little? Do let us know down in the comments, and as for everything else, don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe to Cartoon Mania for more awesome tunes like this recapped on your feed. With that said, thanks for watching. Peace!